If a picture is worth a thousand words, then take a look at this one. The man on the left, 26 years young, Austin Spears with his three daughters. A happy man, he loved living and live he did. He loved his family and dirt bikes. And here is a photo from his last race in Campo, winner. But this picture is how he is going to be remembered as his life was taken Thanksgiving night by a hit and run driver in Campo. Now, listen to his daughter's mother as she tells the story. We were over at our friend's house for Thanksgiving, which is maybe five miles down the road. We were just hanging out. Austin went for a ride with his friend for about 50 minutes. When they came back from their ride, we ate our Thanksgiving dinner about 4.30. About 5 o'clock-ish, 5.10, is when him and his friend decided that Austin wanted to try to get the bike home. That way it was here before it was too dark and he could get it home. He rode the bike home. He was riding the bike home, and his friend was following him in his truck. And they were coming around Sheridan. And his friend was a little ways away because he was in the truck. Austin was on the bike, so he could obviously go a little faster. And his friend pulled up on him, and the bike's in the middle of the road, and Austin's just on the side of the road, laying there, just lifeless. Um, he called 911 and started doing CPR on him. His girlfriend called his mom because we were there and said, you need to grab your kids and go. So I got the girls and I, and we got in the car and we, his mom, his dad actually drove us because he said, you can't be driving like this. We didn't know the extent of the accident yet. We just knew he was hurt. Get there. So his dad drove and we drove up Sheridan from the green store and we come pondering across two vehicles parked in the straightaway before where Austin was at. I thought he was there. I jump out of the car. I'm screaming, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? These two individuals are just looking at me confused. And I said, where is he? And one of them say, oh, the bike, it's up the road. So then I get back in the car, just maybe, maybe 100 yards to 200 yards up the road is where we noticed his friend's truck. And I get out and as soon as we pull up, you just see his friend doing chest compressions on him. Paramedics get there and they they take over finally. And I'm just screaming the entire time. Please don't give up. Please don't give up. He has kids. We have kids together. Um, don't give up. I just kept screaming that and I just saved my distance to let them work on him. And I felt like it was probably probably another 10 minutes that they're working on him. And then I see them all get up. So I start screaming, they're giving up, they're giving up. And so they hear me screaming that they're giving up. So they just, no, 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 we are just switching people to work on him. And then they cover him up. Those life-saving measures were for naught. Austin was gone. So what does Aubrey have to say to Austin's killer? What do you want to say to him? Uh, I just don't want to know why he didn't stop. Honestly, I, it just, it's so cowardly and so heartless for you not to, not to stop and to even see, even make sure he wasn't alone or to realize what you did. And to he just left. That's just, that's a, not even a man. That's a boy. That's just very cowardly and heartless. And just, I just, I need justice to be served. He needs to do some kind of time for just leaving and not even caring that this was a person. This was a human. This was a dad. This was a love. This was a brother. This was a son made another father lose a father lose another son just eight months later 
we losing another, you know, family member months later and no compassion, no care to even stop. <laughs> That's my biggest thing. <laughs> Tragedy struck this family earlier this year when Austin's brother was killed in a car accident. I'm so scared. My kids, our kids, they're, they've lost so much and gone through so much heartache. I'm like, I don't know how they're gonna get past this one. Not to mention the $6,500 a month that Austin took care of is no longer. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then this house holds millions. There is a GoFundMe on this page. Just scroll down to find it. Rhett Lawrence, Mountain News and Views.